Hey guys, what's up? So I have an ESP32 development board by Doit. Um, it's a pretty common one. And I also have an ESP or a Reflowduino 32 backpack module that plugs into the ESP32 mod dev board, as you can see here. So this is the dev board and I have the Reflowduino 32 plugged into it. Um, it's kind of cool, it's really small. You can still plug in DuPont wires to the adjacent header pins, so that's so you can still utilize them. And it also breaks out the pins so you, can, uh, you don't have to waste the pins that aren't used. Anyway, so the setup is pretty simple. Um, I basically have this cheap $20 toaster oven from Walmart. Um, all you have to do is uh, max out the temperature to make sure it's always on. Uh, turn it to bake so that all the filaments are on. And if you have the stay on option, uh, use that. Otherwise, just max out the timer so it doesn't turn off. The reason why we're doing this is so um, it's always on when we plug it in. So if we plug this in, you can hear it. it should turn on. Anyway, it'll take a little bit, but it's on. Um, that way we can control when it's off uh, via the relay. But we need to make sure that if you power it directly, it'll turn on. So what we have here is a thermal couple. Um, right now it's, it's this scrap PCB. Um, you can see the uh, thermal couple tip is kind of routed through a hole there on the back of the PCB. This kind of gives it enough thermal mass to make it um, more accurate, to make the temperature readings more accurate during the reflow process. Um, and then we're controlling the entire toaster oven with the Sidekick relay module here. Um, these are the relay control inputs, just two wires. You can use these convenient DuPont, mail to mail DuPont wires. And this just goes directly to the ES, the Reflow Duino 32 backpack um, on one of the screw terminals. And the thermocouple is just attached to the other screw terminal. So that's pretty simple. Um, just power it up with a micro USB cable and you should be good to go. And after, obviously you should load the code in that. Um, I'll have info in that in the tutorial and the link will be in the description below. So all we need to do right now to control it is to plug in the power to the Sidekick module. Just plug that into the wall. And then uh, flip the switch on the Sidekick to you know, make it so that you can actually control the appliance. Um, and then we have to get the, get the uh, plug here from the toaster oven and just plug that into the sidekick so that it can be controlled. Once we have that, we go to the app. Let's just open the app and it'll ask if we want to turn on Bluetooth. Click yes. And we should see Reflow Duino 32 pop up. And obviously I have the code already loaded onto the ESP32 dev board. So we can see the temperature from the thermocouple being read here. And what you want to do is when you're reflowing, so you'll, you'll put your board here. When you're reflowing, um, typically close this door and drape the thermocouple in here and have the board so that the thermocouple is touching the surface. Um, quite well. So anyway, you get the idea. But it's just draped out here. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to drill any holes or anything. Um, and then we'll go back to the app and press start. And the blue LED on the ESP dev board should turn on. And you will also see the light of the toaster oven turn on to indicate that it's on. And then you'll see the uh, filaments in the toaster oven turn on. You'll also see 
the temperature being graphed in real time every couple seconds or so. Sorry, every four seconds, I believe. Um, and to abort it, since I don't really have anything in there, I can just press stop, abort, and it saves the data to a file on the phone so then I can export it to Excel and look at the data. Let's clear that. So anyway, um, pretty simple. All you really need is this do it ESP32 dev board, which is widely available. I'll have a link to the Amazon product page. You can also get on eBay and all kinds of other places. Um, it, and the Reef Arduino 32 board, um, which I'll probably have on Tindy. And uh, it comes with thermocouple, and then you also need the Sidekick relay module and obviously toaster oven. So that's it. That's the demo for the Reef Arduino 32 and Sidekick, and I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.